hello and welcome to this week's midweek message. I wonder if you had to pick two or three verses from the Bible that have been really important to you in life, things that have come back and back to you that have made a real difference to you in your faith journey. I wonder what they would be. You may know the answer without even having to think about it because it's so obvious. But for me, I think I might struggle to pick just two or three, although I think I would have a top 10. And one of them is this, a verse that's come back to me a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Psalm 112, verse seven. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Many's a time when it's popped into my head when bad news has come. Reminded me that whatever's going on in life, God is with me in it and that he wants me to trust him. Even through the toughest of times. Because bad news can hit when we're least expecting it. Whether it's something that's personal to us, something about someone that we know or love, or something that impacts us on a sort of wider scale, like some of the events of the last couple of years have. So what does it mean for us to have hearts that are steadfast, trusting in the Lord? Well, if something or someone is steadfast, there's a sense in which it holds firm, uh, it's immovable, dependable, unwavering. And it's a bit like we hear in the Book of Lamentations, tucked away in the middle of the Old Testament about God how the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. And really it's because of who God is, his steadfastness, his dependability, his goodness and his love, which we promised at the end of Psalm 23 will follow us all the days of our lives. It's because of who God is that we can have confidence in him. It's his steadfastness that nurtures and supports that steadfast response of faith and trust in him. Even when it's difficult, even when humanly speaking, it might not make sense. So there it is, Psalm 112, verse seven. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast trusting in the Lord. So whether or not it's a a verse that's already there in your memory bank, it's perhaps one that you might like to think about, even to learn, it's only quite short, and to tuck away, because it's one that's come back to me often and really been a help when times have been hard. So whatever's going on for you in life, whether things are good or difficult, may you know God's steadfast love for you, And may he strengthen in you that steadfast heart, steadfast heart to be able to trust him in all that's going on for you right now. Bye for now.